Hey guys, this is Rick and welcome to the flat course server. Well, as you can tell, we are not at the homestead. Rather, we are in, or I am in, <laughs> limbo. And uh, yeah, this was uh, interesting. I was working on the, I had actually finished the, the wall around the, uh, around the homestead, finished it, was just uh, checking it out and kind of fixing up some of the uh, areas and when I did uh, I just really wasn't paying attention and uh, all these slimes kind of converged on me and uh, yeah I just got beat to death by slimes so ended up dying which I didn't really lose anything except for a diamond pick and a diamond sword and both of them were pretty decent the pick was you know efficiency four and breaking three and the um, the sword was uh, looting three, unbreaking three, and sharpness three, I think, or maybe even sharpness four. But uh, so I lost those, which is kind of a bummer. So uh, yeah, I'm here. I just uh, I just logged off, and and uh, I'm going to do a uh, limbo recording one of these days where I go through the show you what the actual limbo area was, but uh, I didn't have time to do it. Um, when I was when I was doing the recording last time so uh, so but this is where you go when you finish your your time in limbo and basically you just click that crystal to respawn and this tells you you know what it is what time it is in the overworld and right now it's nighttime so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait till it's day and then uh, we'll come back and we'll head on out and you notice I got the mini map loaded so we can head on to the house I think let's see uh, waypoints uh oh I don't have anything down on here let me hmm well darn it I'll have to uh, I'll have to get the coordinates and put those in there so we can just uh, figure out what's what's going on here so uh, yeah, I'll be back here as soon, as soon as it turns day. Uh, we'll be back and uh, we'll head on out and see if we can make it back to the homestead without dying. So, see you here in a, in a few. Hey guys, welcome back. Well, it's daytime. I got the mini map all set up. For some reason, I wasn't picking up the waypoints, so I'm not sure what's going on here. But let's go. It's daytime. And let's see, how far are we? And huh. Oh, is this one this is, must be one of those graves. I haven't seen this before. Yeah, we're actually not too far away. Yeah, I haven't seen one of these graves before. If you come here at night, I think you can uh loot these. But I have not seen one of these. Of course, there's uh, I think there's bad stuff in, in here at night, but yeah, I haven't seen one of these graves before, and for some reason my waypoints are not showing up again. Oh, this is so weird. Let's go in here. Let me, let me um. Oh yeah, see, there's a chest, but you can only open it at night. All right, so I'm going to pause real quick, and I'm going to get my waypoint set back up here and be right back with you. Okay, guys, I'm back. I got it, got it set up here. I need to figure out what's going on with this uh, with this mini map thing. <laughs> All right, so what we need to do is we need to find some some food because uh, otherwise we're going to definitely be in trouble. We're actually not too far. The homestead is like minus 28, uh, positive 2800, minus 2800. And I probably shouldn't be sprinting. But uh, yeah, if we can find us a, a village. Yeah, I better not sprint because My hunger will go down, and starving to death is a real problem when you're heading back. Heading back. Uh, I don't know when, when or if they're going to update the server to 1.8, but if they do, there will be uh, 
we can get mutton from those sheep so you can we'll be able to kill a sheep and get some mutton which is pretty cool oh now check this out this is interesting this is someone's base and it looks like they built a uh, statue of themselves what time is it we're midday so I'm then gonna sprint a little bit here yeah that's a big big old statue We'll get around to the front here and look at it. I have no idea who this is, of course. Yeah, that's a nice one. Did a good job on that. Alright, let's go. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this stupid mini-map. I had the waypoints in there set up but for some reason it's not wasn't taking it and then it disappeared when I uh, entered in the uh, came in the overworld I think because it's a different realm I think the limbo is in actually in the end and of course that's a different realm so it stores it separately oh someone claimed that village need to get around this thing now if you claim a village like that I don't think it will regenerate swine's farm okay yeah well if you claim if you claim the village itself it won't regenerate that's why uh, well here's some cows maybe we can kill kill some cows here okay okay there's a little bit of beef that'll help Oh, there's some more over here. You gotta get food where you can get food, you know? One thing nice is that the animals do respawn, so... Alright, so... Built himself a little mountain there. We'll be able to sprint a little bit more here. My hunger doesn't seem to be going down much, though. Not sure why that is. So we're at 37, 72. Yeah, I tell you, I've been having problems. I don't know what the deal is. Uh, since the last update to Minecraft, I've been having a lot of problems with the, with uh, with Minecraft craft actually crashing on me. So uh, yeah, I don't know what the deal with that is. I was trying to record a uh, Life in the Woods, and it just uh, it kept crashing on me. So I don't know why that was. Hmm. I don't know what that is. It's big though. Let me get these uh get these beef here. Boy, we're kinda kinda spawned in a desolate area. There's really not much going on over here, is there? But there is beef. So that is good. And uh the sun's going down, so we need to keep moving here. There's a pig, let's get him. We're actually not that far. Seems like I might recognize that. Yeah, now I'm starting to... Must have been a little grace period, I guess, where you don't lose hunger, or, or maybe I just hadn't used it up yet. Saturation was full. But I want to get moving here because it's going to be dark. And I have absolutely no... I haven't seen a village that I could raid to get some... Uh, well, there's some wood there. Looks like that's been abandoned, so we could... Let's go get some wood. A little out of the way, but... At least we'll have a... Maybe a, get a wooden sword going here. I was thinking it was a piece of piece of um, piece of wood. <laughs> it's a blank. 
Uh-oh, uh-oh, I don't like the sound of that. We might have to abandon this venture here. Okay, there's a stick. And we need two more for a sword. I just want to get... Wooden sword's better than nurse sword, you know? Stick. And, oh, dang it. Where'd my... Did I just... Oh, there they are. Ooh, I'm getting some, some lag there. Alright, got a sword. That'll help. And it is getting... Getting to be dark. Uh-oh. Oh, we're gonna leave it. <laughs> uh, we are going to leave it. We don't need that workbench that bad. He only did half a heart of damage, but still. Those stupid slimes would have killed me. But I had armor on. But I was just I was being stupid. I wasn't paying attention to what was going on. And you know. We'll be able to kill some pigs and stuff. We're kinda of fortunate we've got animals here that we can murder. Yeah, lots of pigs and, and uh, beef out this way, which is good. That's nice. I like that. So we can just keep on sprinting because it's got. It is going to be dark here soon. But we don't have too too far to go. So. It's a nice little setup there. It's got him a little fork going. All right, it's getting dark now, but we're gonna soldier on. I mean, if we die again, we don't won't really lose anything, so it's no big deal. It's just the baby zombies you have to watch out for, really. And. Uh, I should. Should I go over there and... Yeah. I don't want to hang... No, I'm not going to. I'm just going to keep moving. Keep moving. That's what we need to do here. I think we got enough food to keep us, keep us going here. It should be exciting, though. Yeah, these days go by quick when you're when you're trying to make it back to your house. <laughs> uh, oh, more beef, good, good. Keep us keep us stocked up with food. Excellent. So far, we're doing good, I think. Uh, if we keep moving, just stay ahead of the stay ahead of the spawn. Oh, there's the base. See, we weren't very far actually, so. That wasn't too bad at all. I think we can make it, hopefully. Let's see if we can skirt this guy. We've got a thousand blocks to go here about. So that's not too bad. Spawning seems to be not too bad. Yeah, the ones behind us we don't have to worry about too much. It's the ones ahead that because uh, they'll despawn quickly behind us but they they'll spawn you know ahead of us here and then um, uh, stay in you know in view until we pass them by so they have a longer lifespan in front of us than they do if they spawn behind us if that makes any sense so it's not the ones that uh, behind us that we need to worry about. Oh, okay. This is a little, uh... Oh, potatoes. Okay, cool. That'll work. That will definitely work. Yeah, what else we got here? Anything? Nothing. Now, in some of these places... 
there's some stuff down here in these. Uh... Oh yeah, this one has it. Oh, emeralds, awesome. Okay, and then there should be some iron. Oh, there's a zombie. It's heading for us. Bugger. At least that's why I wanted this sword. <laughs> uh, I just want to check the chest and go. Jerk. Oh yeah, this is nice. I don't really need that hoe, but... Okay, so... Base this way. Look at all those creepers over there. Boy, I tell you, we get caught by a creeper, it's going to be bad news for sure. We're only 500 blocks away, though. Yeah, we spawned relatively close. That was uh, quite fortunate, actually. Even though we we only saw the one village, we didn't spawn, you know, hundreds of blocks away. Or thousands of blocks away, I should say. I think we only spawned just a little over a thousand, maybe a couple thousand blocks, something like that. Yeah, and no, I don't know what this long line of whatever this is, someone put out. They must have been transporting a villager maybe somewhere. It's kind of annoying now. And I don't have a pick to go through it, so... I'm gonna get past these guys. Yeah, I don't know what that's all about. Oh, he shot at me, missed. Ha ha ha. Okay, there's the base is 300. Oh, there's Geek Hideout little research facility. Yeah, there's the base. Yay. get inside and I'll probably just wait till daytime and then uh, I can show you the uh, show you the fence or the wall so I better eat actually we can see it pretty good here at night that's how it turned out as you can see, it's uh, I thought it turned out pretty well. Had to wrap around this these corners here because it just didn't uh, match up as nicely as it did on the other one, other side over there. But over here is where I died when I was fixing this corner, and I still still need to fix this corner over here. Let's go around here. It was right over here where I died. I was working on this corner and I just wasn't paying attention and I just got surrounded by slimes got stuck in the corner and couldn't get out got stuck over here you can see my I didn't even fix my fence yet but see I was working on this little section here see how it kind of wraps around there and this was this was opened here so I was trying to fix that and when I did they just swarmed me and killed me of course you know there's nothing there because you lose all your stuff when you die which is kind of a bummer you know I was kind of sad about that sword for sure because uh, that was a good sword I like that sword it's really nice for beef and uh, you know dr rare drops getting the drops off the off the um, mobs but we did make it and that, that was actually a fairly tame adventure <laughs> Really not much happened to that one. We just kind of zipped along and didn't have any problems whatsoever. So, yeah, that was kind of crazy. So, uh, yeah, this is the kind of stuff I've been getting using that looting sword. I mean, you know, I've been getting some decent drops. So, projectile protection, fire protection, aqua affinity, which is kind of useless. But, uh, we're just chain helmet. Let's see, what do we got here? Feather falling three. Protection 3, Feather Falling 4. Wow, that's a good one. I might save those for when I'm doing some stuff up high. You know, all this stuff's about ready to break. Let's do that. Protection 1. Uh, and we'll go ahead and use the gold. And what do I need? Leggings? That's all the leggings I have. So Yeah, I've been <laughs> collecting a little bit of armor there. 
go ahead and put up our iron emeralds still pretty good on the emeralds pick so I still got one 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 pick to diamond pick for I was basically using those for uh, you know mining cobblestone but uh, I was using it to tear down the tear down the wall over there and uh, just uh, kind of well let's see let's make us some tools here need a sword need a axe And let's see, I've got a pick over here. I need to get some. Where did I put? Here we go. Torches. And let's see, what? Maybe a shovel. Ooh, got absorption. Someone cast a spell. There's a. Um... Yeah, I'm getting. Crazy, strange lag here. Let's put this in the in the oven. Let it cook up, and I've got a bunch of stuff over here. Look at all that. That was all from the looting sword. So <laughs> let's go down here and. We're a little more protected now, and it's daytime, so be a little safer. Take another little peek at the at the wall. I like how it turned out. I think it turned out pretty well. Um, I like the pattern, and yeah, I think it looks good. We'll get over here on the side where we don't have all this grass we have to mess mess with. We can uh, take a look at it a little better here. We'll go around to the other side here. I'll get rid of all that fencing. Yeah, and the mobs were like shooting at me while I was doing this and stuff. It was a mess, but I uh, wanted to get it done so I can move on to other stuff. So there it is. Yeah, I think it turned out really nice. I like it. I like it a lot. And I think I got the pattern down. I hope I did mess it up somewhere. If I did, I'm gonna have to fix it. But I think it's, I think I got it down. It looks like it's, looks like it's working right. So, yeah. So there we go. A little adventure on the wall. A little bit more, more of adventure than I had pl I planned on. That's for sure. But uh, you know, that's that's what happens when you when you play in the flat core. It can uh, death can strike at any moment. That's actually the first time I've died in quite a while, so I'm not too upset about it. You know, it's part of the game, and that's what makes it challenging and fun. It's what I enjoy. It. So, anyways, there we go. Got the wall done, and uh, next project I still want to work on that flower farm. Get that going up, and then I have some plans for some other stuff that I'm going to do. And I've got a big project coming up. Uh, I've been collecting lava to make a nether portal uh, since I still got my one diamond axe there or pick I mean and how many diamonds do I have left probably not many no seven I'm gonna have to make a loot run so that's gonna be coming up I definitely need to do a loot run here and collect some more diamonds and whatnot so all the diamonds in this area are exhausted so uh, yeah I need to forge out and probably do a little montage of that but uh, there we go so yeah, a little adventure on the flat core. So, although it wasn't really much of an adventure, was it? <laughs> it was pretty. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't all that exciting, actually. Uh, a lot tamer than I thought it was going to be. But uh, well, there you go. So, appreciate you watching, and I will talk to you again next time. Goodbye.